I love tall ships. It harks back to the old days of the sea, pirates and all that sort of stuff. Right behind me here, we've got a beautiful old girl. I'm gonna take a look at her. Again, it's like that oldy worldy smell, you know? It's like traveling back in time. Not too keen on the sea cars, though. The mast coming through, I didn't even number the chocks so. there. After 18 days in the marina waiting for the weather to be right, there it is, like a mirror, fading into the distance. Uh, with a bunch of uh, oranges hanging over it. There you go. Lovely. My friend James in uh, his boat, Moonrise, is somewhere over there. In fact, he's about three miles away. He's doing four knots, and normally he's faster than me, and that's why he's over there and I'm back here. But um, I've been messing around with the rig because we're going downwind. I've not really done much downwind sailing with this boat. Uh, I've got the pole rigged out. And that's the uh, foresail, fully stretched out with a bit of curver in it. And I've got the uh, mainsail out on this side. This is where my double sheet system really comes into its own. Uh, that's holding the boom nice and rock steady solid. With just a little bit of play there, but it's safe. With the two sails together, that acts as one giant sail. And uh, I've got it rigged so I can let go uh, the foresail back onto its normal sheet and pull her in quickly. I should have left yesterday, but I've got an ongoing problem with a, an infection in my left kneecap, uh, which has been quite painful. Uh, while I was in uh, Tenerife, it got uh, quite bad and I couldn't walk for a couple of days. And it's been nearly a month and it keeps coming back. And um, I've been to see three different doctors and I saw another one yesterday and it cost me a bloody fortune and the, uh, the the drugs they gave me also cost a fortune but there you go because uh, um, I'm sort of out of the European zone here um, things like that had to be paid for and uh, talking about getting outside of the European zone uh, how can I put it politely uh, the first world environment the uh, the security of Europe and uh, European countries and we're going down the coast of Africa and this is the biggest thing I've ever done uh, up to this point. Uh, we're 800 miles down to the Cape Verde Islands which are African islands, they're off the coast of Africa. Uh, it's completely different, it's not Europe, it's going to be an adventure and it's also a bloody long way. Uh, looking at between seven and ten days depending on how we do. Yeah, so uh, I've been a bit nervous about the whole thing. I've got to say, um, yeah, it's not something I take lightly at all. And uh, yesterday, I was, apart from the knee giving me problems, I just didn't feel right and I was so nervous about leaving. And uh, today, yeah, it's, uh, it's getting away. Uh, I'm away now, um, it's gonna get better. I need to chillax, so I'm going to have a cup of tea and a couple of biscuits and uh, think about having a pizza tonight. i got a pizza on board. Brilliant.
It's bad today. I just got hit by a big, oh my God. The middle of hiding all my stuff. I'm shitting myself. There's a boat out here that's got no identification on it. It's coming around my bow and I'm off the coast of Africa. You hear stories of pirates and stuff. I'm just going to alter my course slightly to pass on his stern because he's passing in front of me and uh, it's quite close. It's a ragtag looking ship. It doesn't have an AIS signal on it. There's a tanker behind me. If it all goes shit, I'm gonna call them uh, and call out a, a mayday. I'm shitting myself because there's no, I haven't seen anybody out here in four days. I'm 170 miles off the African coast. He's coming in at a funny angle from out at sea. He's either a fishing boat or he's, I don't know what, but I don't like it. I don't like it. He's crossing my bow now. If he changes course, uh, I'm, I've been hiding everything I can. I'll take the memory card out of this. Uh, so I have this record uh, if they board me. Well, he's moving away. Uh, it just came across, across my bowels, We're about a mile to spare I suppose. He got no AIS on, but that's one of two things. He's a fishing boat, doesn't want to know, he doesn't want his mates to know where he is. Uh, also, uh, he's out of Africa, they don't necessarily have the best technology there. He's probably never even heard of AIS. Oh my god, okay. I've got to try and remember where I hid everything now. Damn, <laughs> where my wallet's gone. My heart is like this. I just made dinner as well. At least I could have offered them some food. And they would have had trouble finding anything in here as it is now anyway. Oh, I could do with a stiff drink, but um, I think maybe a small can of beer is all I can allow myself. I need a bazooka on board, that's what I need.